Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking a look at the new iOS 26 developer beta and see how it looks and works on iPhone 16 Pro Max. iOS 26 is a major update for iPhones that brings a completely new redesign to iOS devices. Apple is calling this new design language Liquid Glass and rightly so, as the user interface looks like it is made up of glass. In the new update, the home screen has received a complete new design that brings new clear elements to the icons. The icons are a little bit more rounded and the icon tint appears to be more pronounced. The glass inspired look is certainly not limited to the home screen icons as we can also see them in various first party apps. The 3D animation looks pretty cool in my opinion and gives the device a more lively feel. The phone app has also been redesigned and made more minimal. Now you get three sections and a search feature that lets you search for contacts. You also see the new design elements in the settings app, which looks quite a bit different from its iOS 18 look. The toggle buttons are also different and now feature a more rectangular design. The search bar has been moved to the bottom of the screen which makes it more accessible. On the home screen you will notice that the menus you access with a long press have also been redesigned. Now they are more simpler and do not feature the dividers that were there before. The widgets also get the same liquid glass design that we are seeing throughout iOS. The Photos app has been redesigned as well. The new app brings back the library tab that gives you access to your latest photos right away. An app that has completely been redesigned in iOS 26 is the new camera app. Now you can tap on these buttons to get expanded menus that give you access to various camera controls. The only interface that is same as the previous version of the app is the zoom in and zoom out interface. In the new app, you get access to the controls menu by tapping on the button from the top. The Safari browser in iOS 26 has also been redesigned and features a new address bar and menus. The preview app from the Mac, which has also made its way to the iPad, is also available on iPhone now. Now you can use the preview app to view your documents, PDFs, and other types of documents and perform various actions on them which is great. So guys this was our look at the new iOS 26 developer beta 1. As you have seen in this video the developer beta is quite glitchy and lags quite a bit. We do not recommend anyone to install this update on their iOS device especially if you use that device as a daily driver. If you really want to try out new features before the fall release of this update, you can wait for the public beta that will be released by next month. And that's it. This was a look at iOS 26 developer beta. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos.